1953 international pickup R110. Uh, this truck had a super body on it when we started. Um, hardly any rod at all. Uh, we put two cab corners in it and that was it. <clears throat> this is a, a nice southern Georgia body. Um, we'll show you the bottom of the doors and stuff in a few minutes. A 318, uh, five speed with air conditioning. Air blows cold, heat works good. Turn signals, headlights has all been replaced and uh, everything's in working order. Brand new set of uh, Coker Classics with the International Harvester uh, logo hubcaps. Uh, those are original equipment. We adapted those to fit the Dodge Dakota wheels. Um, running boards are black. The truck is blue with brown uh, patina coming through. Uh, we painted it this way. Um, to give it that old school hot rod look. Uh, clean in here, uh, new door panels. Uh, white dash, all this has been cleared in here. Um, repainted and cleared. New headliner. Everything's been cleared. Has, this truck has good glass in it. It has new door glass, new seals in the doors. The front windshield's really nice with no chips in it. And, uh, it's like I said, it's a five speed truck. The carpet's really nice in this truck. The seats are really nice. This folds up so you can have a third passenger that seats three people very comfortably. Um, we added this from other trucks. So we've not had this, but this is a working, um, a working um, vent control. Uh, that's pretty nice in the winter or in the summer when you're when you run the AC, you can control where you want it to go. Uh, slick things up in here a little bit, moves the dash uh, around a little bit, puts the stereo on that side opposed to the other ones. Uh, a little neater, uh, a lot neater on the uh, instrument panel. Um, but everything works uh, excellent, you know, I mean, it works out really good. A little more time invested in this truck than the last couple builds or several builds will just get. I guess if you don't get better at it, there's something wrong. But it's got the visor on it. New Coker Classics, like I said. This truck is titled and licensed as the 53 International Pickup. Uh, new wood in the bed. It has been stained. This truck has a new tailgate. You can see back here, it's all boxed in, real neat looking. The whole truck has been repainted. Super solid. New shocks on this truck. Brakes are perfect. Just, just an excellent shape. I mean, there was no rod on this truck hardly at all. I mean, it was just super nice body. You hardly ever find a more cat. Bottom of the doors on this truck are are super. You can see the bottom of the cab. I'm trying to show you the bottom of the fenders. Gas neck there. The engine compartment has not been detailed yet. We will detail that before that this truck is sold. 318 cold air intake. It is the Magnum with the five speed. You will not uh, you want it you won't want any more power. This thing's ate up with power. But I'll start it up and let you listen to it. Truck got new mirrors on it. <coughs> it does have a working e-brake. Um, out of the Dodge Dakota. Starts up, sounds beautiful. Put the emergency brake back on. No noises. Flowmaster exhaust. Flowmaster exhaust, new stereo, new speakers. Um, just the, probably the nicest build we've ever done. Here's your headlight switch. Um, door shut, perfect on it. Hope you like my little short bed. 53 International. It's got a super look to it. The, the paint's just 
dead on. Uh, it's dark blue with the brown uh, of coming through here and there. A lot of work to make this truck uh, look like that. Trust me. I'm just trying to show y'all all the spots that these trucks had rot. And as you can see, just super. Stand back, get you a good look at it. 1953 International Harvester R110. 318 five-speed modern chassis. Thanks.